Okay. Up to this point, what we did is we initialized the map with uh, Google map, which has the by default, we have two maps, satellite and the map. Also, we have this terrain feature so that we can toggle on and off. And then it come up with the default setting like this. And then we added the costume markers and then also we added the geolocation and we also did with the uh, deal with the pop up contents. Uh, etc and also at the final point we deal with the geolocation api right so we did pretty much the uh, basic things all the basic things to get start with google map so what's the next target actually the next target is to explore by yourself because google map has lots of resources lots of different uh, different service for the different different features so i I leave it to you guys to explore by yourself and then get some of the good things from Google map. If I show you in the console.cloud.google.com this website, you can see uh, it has lots of libraries. So here uh, you can see for the for only the maps, you have 15 different services. So I want you to explore by yourself all these mapping services will be very important for different different service we just explore uh, this geo uh, i think map javascript api but there is lots of other important uh, services like geocoding which help you to uh, get the latitude longitude uh, by entering your location or uh, by by the with the help of location uh, information like let's say thailand you will get the coordinate of thailand something like this and then also this direction api is useful for i believe it's for the routing purpose and then geolocation uh, we already implemented this geolocation using html5 no need of this service and then also one of the major i think uh, google places uh, places api which uh, deal with the different addresses so you just need to explore and then there are lots of resources available in the google maps documentation explore uh, the documentation by yourself you can search the google map js api and then uh, you will get all the information needed to implement each and everything so i just explored the some basic things it's up to you guys how much you want to go and how how much uh, things you want to build so i want you to explore by yourself so i hope uh, you will explore and uh, know the lots of information and you can implement your real-time problem solving application uh, so yeah that's it uh, that's all from my side so i hope you enjoyed all this series and then i'll see you next week uh, have fun and happy coding